Roger Young was an all-American man. He was born on the 28th of April in 1918 in a small town named Tiffin in Ohio. Roger Young, as showed on the right with his two older brothers on the left, is postlingually deaf. He became deaf when he played a regular game in basketball and was fouled and knocked flat onto the concrete, hitting his head and blacking out. Then, months after the incident, his hearing and eyesight deteriorated to the point where he was almost completely deaf and needed to wear thick glasses. He eventually left high school as a sophomore because his grades were dropping down as he could no longer see the board well or hear the teacher so much as he did before. Once he left high school, he decided to participate in the 148th Regiment, 37th Division of the Ohio National Guard with his older brother Webster, and Roger would soon be known as one of the smallest soldiers there, only weighing 125 pounds and obtaining a height of 5 foot 2. No matter his size, he was a well-trained soldier that was even offered a position as a staff sergeant, but he knew that with this position comes great responsibility, and he certainly did not want any of his men getting killed for him not being able to hear well, so he confronted the commander about this and was lowered back to private like he wanted. Later on, him and his team were to be sent to the Munda Solomon Islands to perform action, but they were ambushed by the Japanese who were aiming to fire their weapons at them from a clear distance. The team didn't have a way to get out from where they were, and they weren't going to stay there either. So Young went ahead and started creeping up the hill, carrying two grenades with him. His sergeant, Frankel, gave him an order to stay because he knew that that was suicide, but Roger simply turned to him and said, I'm sorry, sir, but you know, I don't hear very well, and started climbing up the hill again, planting one grenade without doing much damage, getting shot multiple times in the arm, but when he finally got closer, with his one good arm, he threw the last grenade, killing all the Japanese enemies, right before one of the machine guns had been aimed and fired at his head, killing him immediately. He died on July 31st, 1943. From this courageous act, he would be remembered by his whole team as a hero who saved them all. Even later, he had a song named after him, The Ballad of Roger Young. What in every soldier's heart in all the infantry Shines the name, shines the name of Roger Young 